although not many realize it, South Africa is an arid country and there's a pressing need to address water scarcity. Why do you think not many people are aware of this current state and how does Grandfast actually aim to assist in addressing this issue and why was this something the company chose to focus on? If we look at water scarcity and I think there's lots of reasons why people are not anonymous to why there's actually water scarcity in South Africa because it actually water comes so easily for most of us. But I think with the climate change, which is also a big focus point for Grindfoss, the climate change is affecting the water scarcity a lot. The rains normally don't come as often as it used to. And I think the biggest thing where we as Grindfoss can probably add and where we take big note in is where we lose water through leakage in piping. I think if you take it, we've got about 30% of the water that's being pumped to either the, from the treatment plants to the communities is actually being lost through that piping, damaged piping and even illegal connections. And I think that's where we as Greenfoss, we see the water scarcity out there with the farmers and everything, but we can actually, we have technology that can assist with these kinds of applications. So we actually, we're helping the treatment plants to realize where their problems are. Adding to the water scarcity issue, there's also the need to reduce energy consumption, and this can be done by using more efficient solutions as well as looking at alternative energy solutions. Could you give me a little bit more insights on this, please? Yeah, when you, when you look at energy consumption in, in the world, I don't know if many people know that, but pumps actually use about 20% of the world's electricity or energy, if you take it that way, which is a massive, massive uh, number. And also, when you look at the energy of that 20%, or the sorry, the consumption of a pump uh, capital cost is 90% is in energy. So en energy makes up for 90% of owning a pump in all essence. So when we look at pump designs overall, I think also in the older days, people used to always, when they designed pumping stations, they used to design on the maximum uh, capability of what the pumps should be doing. So what we, when we talk about that, we talk about the dry weather flow. So it's the maximum flow that will be pumped when it rains and the sewage and the stuff is flowing. So then the pumping station is actually over-designed most of the times because it's designed on maximum flow. When we actually look at it, your pump should only mostly run about 70% of that, uh, that flow, which is your dry weather flow conditions. And that's where, where we think with incorporating variable speed drives into your pumping stations, this is where you can actually save on your electricity costs. And in the older days, people used to look down on variable speed drives because it's electronics in the water but I think with the, the way technology is going the VSD drives is the way to go in energy saving. Grand Force through its extensive experience in the sector and access to technology is able to provide the necessary support to minimize downtime with technical design support backup and training. When speaking about extensive experience in the sector, how long has Grandfoss been operating in this space? And I mean, providing the necessary support to minimize downtime with technical designs, forward backup and training sounds like the elements of a holistic approach. Is this something that you would agree with? Now, firstly, Vatek, Grandfoss has been in the pumping game internationally over 80 years. In South Africa, in the clean water pumps, about 50 years and looking into the wastewater products for the last 20 years. So I think if we look down that path, we've got vast experience in the water and wastewater technology. So the next thing that was the technical backup and the support, I think lots of people uh, promise that there is support and and backup, but I think all the, the the things we put in place, we actually strive to go through and do that. But like when we start with that, it's not only the support. I think the most important thing in this is 
assisting the customers, consultants in the design of pumping station and treatment plants. I think there we as Grinfos, we've got a lot of online tools and technical backup that we can actually assist with the design. And if your design is correct, all the others, the service and maintenance will be like a lot less because your your service, your design is 100%. Yeah, and I think we also we do from CFD analysis, that's computational uh, fluid dynamics, to in your mixing, we do we assist with pump station design in the pumping station, not the pumps itself, but the, the sump. We our Greenforce product centers out there on the internet that can assist anyone in the public with selecting the right pump for the right application. So I think with the combination of all of these and also the way our service, we strive on service and keeping our customers happy. I think that is what's adding to Greenfoss in the market.